Over the last few weeks, we've been creating a presentation of, on a topic of your choice. Uh, this might be fox hunting, it could be something like animal testing, or even investigating whether aliens uh, or extraterrestrial life is in fact real. Now today we're going to look to build on your presentation and create a survey to find out what other people think and then the results of the survey we're going to create a graph and include it in, on one of the slides. So to start off this survey I'm going to start by opening up pages and I'm going to select a new document and I want a blank document and I'm going to choose the portrait option. Uh, I can fill out a title at the top of the screen, something appropriate like fox hunting survey and I'm going to fill in my question one which is question one do you think that fox hunting is cruel? Now I've typed in the question I need to think about how I'm going to collect my responses. Now I could create some boxes uh, to allow people to, uh, to tick the option that they want but I don't want to print out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of versions of this survey. So I'm going to keep it nice and simple and I'm going to create a table. The table is going to be two columns. I'm going to change that uh, in the inspector to two columns and only one row. And in the first column, I'm going to put yes. In the second column, I'm going to put no. And the idea is, is that I can keep a tally chart um, of how many people said yes and how many people said no, so that I haven't got to print out lots and lots of copies. I'm also going to make that table just a little bit bigger. And there we go. Now, the last question I'm going to put in is just to get some people's responses uh, and that's going to be uh, why do you think this and the only purpose of this question is to gather some people's opinions which you might want to include in your presentation later on the main information is actually going to come from question one now I need a space to collect some of these opinions. So to do this, I could do it a few different ways. The first way, I'm going to choose the shapes and I'm going to choose a line. And I'm simply just going to draw a number of lines so that I can write down what some of these people's opinions are. Uh, and if I want to, I can copy and I can paste uh, the lines to try and speed things along, like so, so copy and paste and then I can just move them underneath each other. If you have any problems um, then it's good idea to check this option at the top there. Um, if it's in line it um, tries to lock it to the page and where your cursor is. If you change it to floating you can move that line or move the image anywhere on the page like so. Another way would just to draw a simple box. So I'm just going to delete these lines for the time being. I'm going to choose my rectangle and I'm going to draw it out as big as I actually want it to be. Um, and I'm also going to change the fill colour to be white so that I can write on the paper. And the last thing uh, is to think about the way that my work is being presented. So I'm going to look at changing the font and perhaps adding a picture in. So I'm just going to highlight the font, choose something that uh, looks good, and even change the size. Um, and I've also downloaded an image of the internet and I'm going to drag that onto my page. Uh, it's obviously too big at the minute, so I'm going to shrink it down like so. Um, and I'm going to change the wrapping to none so that we can get everything in on the page. Uh, I might also change the border uh, to make it stand out and if I use the command key over one of the corners I can even make it look or tilt it around to look a little bit better. Um, if you want, you could uh, move your document down, like so, to make everything fit on. There we go. 
and there you go. So you've got a document, a survey that is ready for printing. Um, you only need to print one off. Uh, for question one, I will keep a tally chart. And any people's opinions that you think might be useful, I'd write it down in the box ready for question two.